It's time to have young Link explore another dungeon he's not supposed to be in. We're doing Forest Temple this time. Let's see how far I can get. Also, I got myself a new controller, so look at this. Actual smooth movement. Isn't that nice? Oh, hello. Oh, that... Buttons! I'm still getting used to where they are, however. That's much better. Okay, now I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, let's see. Could probably do the stuff with the vine wall legitimately, especially considering there's no spiders. But to save time, I'm just gonna fly up there. Let's go in here. Oh no, spooky ghosts! Yeah, 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 let's just speed this up. We all know how this goes. Make a safe state. Okay. Now the arrow should... Now, the slingshot should work for these switches. I said these switches, that switch over there. Let's see, but I think the first thing to do is to go up. I should be able to play a lot of this dungeon pretty normally. Hi. How are you today? Unfortunately, blue bubbles are going to take four hits with the wimpy little Kokiri sword. Because the Kokiri sword is kind of terrible. By kind of, I mean it's really terrible. Also, this is gonna suck. Fighting Stalfos' young Link kinda sucks. you, smack you again. Ow. That's enough of that. Enough with your jump attack stuff. Whew. Interrupting their jump attacks like that is always risky, but it can be very effective. Okay, so that went fairly well. Oh, well. I kind of rushed through the game, so I only have one bottle on me. By kind of rushed through the game, I mean I flew past pretty much whatever I could. Uh, so I still keep getting BNA backwards. Oh, that's not my shield. That's not a lock-on button, either. You know, why am I even bothering with you? Wrong button! Ugh, B and A, why? I'm just not used to Xbox controllers. Okay, we could take the key over there, but I don't think we're going to do that yet. Let's go over here first. Yes, yes, Song of Time block. It's invisible. I don't care. I don't even have the Song of Time, come to think of it. If I encounter any situations where I'll need it, I'll just have to fly over them. Okay, let's see what else we can do here. 
Well, since we have the... I did not press C up. I am not pressing C up! What the heck? Guess I can't really flick the stick, I just have to... pull it and push it gently. So yeah, we can get up here without having to sneak past the skull tool. I mean, you can get up here without the bow and arrow anyway. You just kind of have to sneak past them. Which isn't particularly hard. It's just tedious. Schmack. 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 Yep, 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 yep. Get over here and grab ourselves the map. Yep, that's the map. Standard Dikubaba. See, we can fly over to that water switch. Drain out the well. So yeah, from the looks of it, this is going pretty much normally, and you could play most of the dungeon normally. Just gonna fly up here, do some sequence breaking. Don't slash the chest, open it. You could do more sequence breaking by flying up here. I mean, that's what we're here for, right? We're here to watch the game get broken, not to watch normal gameplay. See, this is the falling tile room. One of the spooky ghosts is back there, so we kind of have to do this. Oh no, the link is... Oh no, the, the, yes, cheat, the ceiling is falling down. I named him cheat, because reasons. Let's see, I could... Actually, I can't sc shoot down the Skulltolas, because I have the slingshot and not the bow, and it functions slightly differently. The bow can snipe them, the... Slingshot cannot, so that would make this room a lot harder. It would still be doable, you'd just have to kite out the floor and everything. Alternatively, I could fly over the floor. Fall, you stupid thing. Thank you. Oddly enough, the top of the floor is actually a hurdy. I thought it was a hurdy surface, I was wrong. It just kind of just passed through the top of the floor. Yeah, you kind of just pass through it. Odd. Can't say I was expecting that. Anyway, where is the floor switch here? Here it is. Open the door. wonder how much of this I should cut out slash speed up. See, now we can do the... Okay, well, here's a question. Will the arrow... Do you need the bow, or will the slingshot trigger this? I see. You need the bow. The slingshot doesn't do it. So that means I can never kill the ghosts, because I can't get them to come out of the portraits. So if I can never kill the ghosts, I can never activate the door to the base... I can never get to the basement. That's kind of a big problem. So yeah, there's no other way I have to get to the basement, because I'm pretty sure I can't clip there into the basement. Let me do some investigation. Okay, the ceiling in the main room is not solid, because you're never expected to get up there. So I can levitate up to the ceiling, clip through it, and get out of bounds. And now I'm wondering if I can clip over into the elevator shaft if I could somehow trigger the elevator from below. I totally can! This will let me get to the basement. Okay, I can trigger the elevator from... by clipping out of bounds. Though, I don't have the boss key, so I can't actually get to the boss to confirm whether the slingshot would be enough to kill him or whether you need the arrows. Well... 
maybe we could just do a little bit more cheating. Let me take a look over here. Say, is there anything that can make me have the boss key? Do, 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 do. Let's see what these buttons do. Well, that filled out my inventory menu or all that stuff. Don't know if it gave me the boss key, though. It doesn't look like it did. Might have to go fetch the boss key myself. Which I totally could do. No way here. Like a little. Let's do this. Does that code do it? Oh, that code gave me the boss key. Okay. Let's use that code. Let's see, can we play this room normally? Yeah, it looks like this room can still be played out normally. So we can go around, push the grip, push the walls around, hit the switches, etc. Again. Skull toll over there guards a chest that I don't care about. Let's see, the last switch should be over here. That should open the gate to the boss room. And now I can go in there and see if Young Link can defeat Phantom Ganon, or if he actually requires the bow. Let's find out. It's a spooky ghost. All right. I never did like this boss. I always thought it was rather obnoxious. But let's see if the slingshot can actually damage him. Yes, it can. Young Link can totally fight this boss. Okay, I'm going to spam save states because honestly I hate this boss. You? Nope, of course not. Nope. Like I said, I hate this boss. if the images don't happen to be next to each other, you're not going to have enough time to find and aim at the wrong one if you picked incorrectly. Okay. Now we can actually do the fun part of the fight. Though he's going to be a little harder to fight with a wimpy Kakuri sword. He's 
he's going to take twice as many hits, essentially. Camera's not the best. Okay, here comes the big rally. I should probably use Deku Sticks on him, honestly, just to speed this up a little. Then again, I'd like to be able to confirm whether or not the Kokiri Sword alone can actually kill him. Yes, I'm using save states, but I haven't loaded one yet. What? <laughs> Where did it go? It just kind of disappeared. I think it hit me and my sword at the exact same frame, so it just kind of got deleted. What? <laughs> Game, what are you doing? Excuse me? Ow. Okay, what's going on? <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, are we gonna go back to Logic Land now? That was really weird. Damn it. I'm so bad at this game. But can you blame me? I've got a slightly shorter weapon. My window is of opportunity is a couple frames smaller than usual. Well, he certainly didn't take this many hits with the Master Sword, I'll say that much. But yes, you can completely kill him with Young Link. So that's interesting. Yep, 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 yep. Da, na, na. Now I've got an extra heart container to use for exploring the next temple, which will come in handy because the next temple will probably be pretty hard to explore <laughs> as Young Link. I can watch this cutscene as Young Link, though I'm going to keep it sped up. Hi, Saria. Whatever you say, game. Oh, one more thing. The game completely froze halfway through the um, cutscenes with the Deku Tree Sprout. Don't know if that was because I'm Young Link or because of the Game Shark codes, but in any event, it breaks. <laughs> it broke. <laughs>